Speaking on Thursday as he received the European Movement Ireland Award, the former EU Brexit negotiator said the UK should be very careful after EU Ambassador to the UK Joao Vale de Almeida was denied the same status given to other ambassadors sent by national governments. Mr Barnier said, I know the spin of the UK authorities, speaking about the EU like international organisations, but we are not an international organisation. I hope that we will be able to find a clever and objective solution to the status of the EU in London. It would be wise in my view to for the UK to find a clever solution. Former UK ambassador to the EU, Sir Ryan Rogers, told Playbook the stupid move from Westminster will backfire. We will use your email address only for sending you newsletters. Please see our privacy notice for details of your data protection rights. He argued the decision demonstrates yet again that the government cares much more about appeasing its base than protecting its EU relationship. Shadow Brexit Minister Paul Blumfield has written a letter to Foreign Secretary Dominic Raab condemning the posturing from Britain. Senior Tory Tobias Selwood described the row as a silly spat and insisted the UK should be better than this. Mr Elwood, chairman of the Commons Defence Committee, said, This is simply petty, Joe. Biden commits to strengthening alliances and we engage in silly spats which will not help strengthen security and trade cooperation. We are better than this. Former Europe Minister Sir David Liddington said he hoped the Foreign Office doesn't pick a fight on this, warning that non-recognition could set a bad precedent for regimes that hate EU ambassadors speaking up in support of human rights. A UK Foreign Office spokesman said, the EU, its delegation and staff will receive the privileges and immunities necessary to enable them to carry out their work in the UK effectively. But Brussels said the EU's 143 delegations and staff in other parts of the world had been accorded a status equivalent to countries' embassies under the Vienna Convention, which governs the rules of international diplomacy. The Vienna Convention grants diplomats immunity from detention, criminal jurisdiction and taxation. But Whitehall sources insisted that international organizations were offered very similar privileges and immunities to diplomatic missions sent by foreign governments. The UK is continuing to negotiate with the EU over the long-term arrangements for the delegation. European Commission spokesman Peter Starno said the UK, which, as a member of the EU, was a signature to their Lisbon Treaty which established the European External Action Service diplomatic network, was well aware of the EU's status in external relations. Nothing has changed since the UK's exit from the European Union to justify any change in stance on the UK's part. He said, the EU's status in external relations and its subsequent diplomatic status is amply recognized by countries and international organizations around the world, and we expect the United Kingdom to treat the EU delegation accordingly and without delay. He said granting reciprocal treatment based on the Vienna Convention on Diplomatic Relations is standard practice between equal partners and we are confident that we can clear this issue with our friends in London in a satisfactory manner. Mr Starno added, the European Union has 143 delegations, equivalent to diplomatic missions, around the world. Without exception, all host states have accepted to grant these delegations and their staff a status equivalent to that of diplomatic missions of states under the Vienna Convention on Diplomatic Relations, and their UK is well aware of this fact. The dispute with Brussels came as the Foreign Office announced Lindsay Croysdale, Appleby, would be the new head of the UK's mission to the EU, replacing Sir Tim Barrow as ambassador.